And that really segues nicely into that uh, second match, which produced a real shock as one of those smaller teams, Burkina Faso, clipped the wings of the Eagles of Carthage, beating Tunisia 1-0. And that was thanks to Dango Otara's goal just before the stroke of half-time. Tunisia dominated the ball and Otara was even sent off for a failing elbow for the Stallions. But Munder Kebayer's Tunisia team couldn't orchestrate an equaliser, even with a full contingent on the field. What a result there, Ruben. I mean, if you think about this team, they left Ouagadougou uh, saying goodbye to former president uh, Kavore. Uh, there's been so much turmoil going on in the country since they've left. Um, how much does this mean to the people of Burkina Faso uh, as, a, as a unifying item, as anything going forward? Well, it has to be seen, but it's if you see the reaction of the players, of the head coach, who were all, all saying that they did this for the, uh, for the Burkina Bay yeah, that's that's incredible. It's it's also the beauty of sport uh, that is all uniting people, uh, and and they deserved it. Uh, you say it's a it's a shock. Yeah, of course it's a shock. I mean, Burkina Faso in itself is a smaller football team than our football country than than Tunisia. But if you look at the game today, the first half Burkina uh, were better. Uh, they did exactly the same as what they did against Gabon after scoring. They started to defend that advantage against Gabon. It almost went wrong today as well. Uh, Tunisia had their chances, but they couldn't score. And now Burkina Faso is again into the semis. And for them, it's such a huge, huge ex achievement. And with all the stuff going on back home in Ouagadougou, but also just uh, for them as a small, still a small uh, team and a real team performance again. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, really, it's really impressive. And we'll see if they can take it one step further and, I mean, go past uh, and win the final. Uh, they, they were in the final in uh, 2013 uh, against uh, Cote d'Ivoire in South Africa. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And, well, I mean, there is a possibility that they will play against Senegal in the semis, which is, of course, uh, yeah, another another type of team and uh, a harder task than, than this Tunisian team. But why not? Uh, why not? Uh, it's it's clear that there's a real team standing there for Burkina Faso. That they're a team on a mission, so that's uh, a hard one to a hard one to beat. That's for sure. So, if you needed any reminder, here are the results from Saturday's games. Carl Toko Ekambi doing the business for the Indomitable Lions with his two goals as they stormed into the semi-finals at Gambia's expense, and they'll be taking on the winners of Morocco or Egypt on Thursday, the third of February. And then in the second game, Dango Otara's brilliant strike against Tunisia sealed a semi-final spot for the Stallions and they'll be taking on the winners of Senegal or Equatorial Guinea on Wednesday at the Douala Stadium.